scary is a hard thing, but fear not, I'll teach you how to be feared. So, starting with introductions. Hey, I'm Claude Cullen. My name's Agatha, and I'm a zombie. I'm Sassy the Cat. I don't like cats. Do you want to touch me here? I haven't got a heart. <laughs> <laughs> What you eat is also important because no one's going to be afraid of someone that eats marshmallows and candy floss all day. Well, I eat the finest cut of tuna because tuna is good for the brain. Obviously, I'm a very intelligent cat. However, we all have very different palates. Love is a sauce of my Wait, what are you eating? Listen, I'm on a break. I, I don't eat crisps. You don't mind. That's not blood. Th this is my blood, okay? It's not like I eat, I eat crisps all the, all the time, you know what I mean? Okay. Like, I, I'm a blood person. <laughs> a good set of tips is also another way to maintain your scariness. The top tips for being a vampire are... 1. Seduction. 2. Find your prey. And three, slaughter them. <laughs> I love the joke. Hey, sweetie. Oh, your neck looks really tasty. Oh, I think I might take a bite. You also need a terrifying walk so passers-by are threatened by your presence. Another thing is to never let distractions get in your way of being scary. Watch this. This is how a cat walks. Minor technical difficulty right there. Anyway, as I was saying. The element of surprise is also essential. Raindrops on roses, whiskers on kittens, bright copper kettles and warm woolen mittens. <laughs> Once you've mastered these tips, you can be well on your way to being as scary as a real monster. Emma, yeah, it's on, it's on them. Yes, exactly. Okay, Bye, cool. Girl. Bye.